Well, as you know, we've been following these protests that are happening all around the world, some even our, in our area, showing their support for George Floyd, a black man who was killed tragically by a police officer in Minneapolis. But with protests consisting of large groups of people, First News reporter Brianna Ray Turner talked with an infectious disease specialist about how we can still protect ourselves from COVID-19. As protesters are still happening worldwide, COVID-19 is still a present issue. I talked with Dr. D. Banks, an infectious disease specialist who has a few tips to stay safe while protesting. It's very difficult to, to practice social distancing when you're in a protest situation, but to the extent that you can, I would advise carrying your hand sanitizer with you and to the extent that you can if you have goggles. Banks says that besides wearing masks, goggles are just as important because of the chemical irritant sprayed in the air at some of the protests. The, the bad thing about them is that they induce coughing. And we know that from coughing, the um, virus has a much more effective way or a faster way of uh, infecting someone or getting to someone. And since there's been an increase in COVID-19 testing and it's becoming more available to people, after a week of protesting, Banks says she recommends that you take a test. I'm expecting in the next two weeks, we should be able to see whether or not there's been an uptick as a result of the protests that have um, gone on. It's a little bit too soon, I think, right now. As the virus still circulates around the world, Banks says to make sure you still focus on your health. I'm Brianna Ray Turner, WKBN 27 First News.